So in this class, we are going to consider some of the special products which we have in our algebraic identities. So guys, in algebra, working with algebraic expressions, we also have what we refer to as algebraic identities. All right. So it is just, uh, uh, what, what can we refer, like, just like you are in, uh, we are working with the trigonometry, uh, the part, that part of the trigonometry, there are identities there, the trig ratios, trig identities that you work with. In the same manner, algebraic expressions also have a part where you can apply those identities. From the word itself, special products, special products. There are some products that we can just simplify by knowing their identities. Not to say that if you are given to expand and you apply the normal way that you are used to, it will be wrong. No. When you are given, okay, let's start uh, with this part of the difference of two squares from our special products. We've got products uh, which lead to the difference of two squares, all right? So let us just say uh, products which leads or which lead, let's just say which lead to the difference of two squares, to the difference of two squares. So it means for us to have this uh, difference of two squares, we are supposed to be knowing where it was taken from. X squared minus Y squared is, is going to give us X minus Y into X plus Y. Remember our difference of two squares from factorization. So now we are saying, if we are given these two brackets to expand, definitely they are going to be in this manner. Because expanding is to remove the brackets. Now you are given to expand, let's say you're given x minus 2 into x plus 2 like this. If I know where these brackets were being taken from, to say it was being taken from here, from the difference of two squares, I'm simply going to square these terms because I know that this is going to represent, all right, according to our difference of two squares, we've got this x and the 2 this x here and the two those are the significant part the x and the y the x and the y being squared x being squared y being squared with a negative in between so if we can note that we can simply reverse it to that manner to say this was supposed to be x raised to the exponent of two minus also the two raised to the exponent of two which was simply going to give us x squared minus what minus 4, 2 squared. You have expanded, knowing that this is a difference of 2 squared, same terms, only that this is a negative, this is a positive. That's the only difference. So you use the special product when it is like that. That is the simpler part that we are simply referring to. So if you are given the bracket of x minus y and the bracket of x plus y, it is going to end up as a difference of two squares in this man. So I'm saying, guys, this is just something which is special. When Once you see it, not to say if you are to use the, 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 the normal expansion of brackets, you're not going to have the same answers. No. X squared minus four, this was our answer. We are supposed to have the same answer even if we are to use the normal expansion. Remember your FOIL method explained uh, from our previous class. We can expand the second bracket from what? From the first one. Meaning to say the x minus 2 has to uh, uh, multiply x plus 2. That is the condition that you are having. So it's going to be x times x, which is x squared. x times 2, which is what? 2x. If you are done with the x, you move on to the minus 2. Minus 2 times x, that's minus 2x. Minus 2 times this plus 2, that's a minus 4. So collecting the like terms, the 2x here and the minus 2x. So that's 2x minus 2x. That's a 0. 2 minus 2. That's a 0. Cancels. You remain with what? Minus 4. Are you seeing that's the same thing? 
same answers that you obtained by simply understanding that it's a difference of two squares. So you can simply square the numbers, then one, uh, then put a, a negative on your on your final answer in between. Just 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 that way. So it's up to you guys to know these special products or to continue the way that you had in your expansion of bracket, the way that you are used it to. All right. Number two, we are going to be squaring a binomial, all right? That is squaring a binomial. Remember, two terms, binomial, two terms. But being squared, being squared, for an example, A plus B squared, when being squared like this, how can we simply expand such? We can use this identity, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, where a represents the first term, b is the last term. So it's the first squared plus two times the first times the last plus the last squared. a and b. That is the most important part. When it is a negative, this part, when it now is a negative, the identity is going to be written as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So you just need to know this, to memorize this. That is the condition. Once you can memorize that part, you're done. Once you know that part, you're done. This is the a and the b. The only part that we have is that there's a negative there. It's minus 2ab, but the rest is the same. Guys, Expanding using this concept or expanding properly leads to the same answers. It is only a special product to say it can be used. But, the, but expansion still goes back to the normal expansion that we are used to. Like what we are given on this question, this is the squaring of a binomial. On this binomial that we are given, which is x plus 4, being raised to the exponent of 2, we can simply take uh, these terms, as we said, we're going to need a and b, all right? So this is our a, which is our first term. This is our b. Guys, if I understand that this is my a, this one, and this is my b, therefore, I'm going to have what? From this one, a plus b squared, it's a squared, which is the first First is squared, that's x, so it's x is squared, plus 2ab, it means 2 times our a, our a is what, is x, our b is 4, that's 2 times a times b, plus b squared, that is our b is what, 4, our b is 4, but they are saying b squared, that is 4 squared. So that's it. So we're going to have it as x squared plus 2 times x times 4. That's 2 times 4 here, which is 8x plus 4 squared. That's 16. We have expanded simply by observing or following this concept. We can expand any binomial which is being raised to the exponent of 2 by using this concept. So actually, there's no need for us to, to actually present this. As long as you understand, you can write it no matter the way that you understand. But like I said before, this part was simply taken, guys, the way that we are used to. If I do not know this, how am I going to expand this? I'm going to simply have two brackets squared. It means there are two. So I'm going to have x plus 4, another one, x plus 4. It's up to you to choose the way that you want to expand. There is no question that will say use special. They will just say expand and simplify. It is you who can use these special uh, products. All right? So we're back to that, that part. So I want you to expand this and see if we're going to have the same answer. All right? Moving on to another part that is on number two. You're given that's 2x minus 4y like this raised to the exponent of 2. That is with a negative. It has a negative. So what we simply need, guys, is to know our A and our B. What represents our A? This will be our A. The whole of this part, this one, is your A. And this one is your B. Just like here, A, B, first and last. 
just knowing your first and last is important. So meaning to say from here, we're going to have A squared, which is the first squared, first term squared. What is your first term is 2x squared. Minus 2ab, it means minus 2 times the first, which is our A, which is the first term, which is 2x, times B, or B is what? Is 4y. Don't take this negative. The negative is already there. It's already into the formula. It's an identity. They already used it. So don't worry about that. The negative simply approaches. If this is a negative, you write it this way. It follows these signs as they are. Plus b squared, that is the last term squared, which is what? 4y. So that's 4y squared, just like that. 2 squared, that's 4. Uh, so it's going to be 4x squared. Remember, every term will be raised to the exponent of 2. All right, minus 2 times 2 times 4 was going to be minus 4 times 4, which is minus 16xy uh, like this. All right, plus 4 to the exponent of 2, the 16y uh, squared. You're done. You have expanded these brackets. You have expanded. That is the, that is the concept. So with the same application, guys, as we had before, I want you to expand these brackets to the exponent of 2 means there are two of them. There's a bracket of 2x minus 4y multiplying another bracket of 2x minus 4y. So I want you to use the for you method and see that you are going to have the same answers. Already you've got the answer there. So you can mark for yourself if you are obtaining the same answer. That means we are in the right direction. All right, again, we have this other question. We can see uh, there we are still, we are going to go back here to the difference of two squares. If you are to not properly, uh, remember the x, y, the x minus y, x plus y, this one. All right, it is happening uh, in these two brackets. Let me try to increase it here. Yeah, 1 minus a squared. 1 plus a squared, this part, 1 minus a squared and 1 plus a squared. That's a difference of two squares, that one. It's a difference of two squares, guys, that we are seeing there. It's a difference of two squares. One bracket is having a negative, another one is a positive. It is leading us to the difference of two squares, I mean. So meaning to say we are going to have this first bracket as it is, this one. going to remain as it is. 1 minus a to the exponent of 4 into what? There we said this is going to lead us to the difference of two squares. We're going to have x squared minus y squared. What is our x? The first term. So it's 1 squared, which is what? Which is 1 minus y squared. What represents y is the a squared. So it's a squared like this, squared again. This term, you have to square it. So it's already a square. But the law or the concept of this identity, you have to square. A squared. X, this Y squared. So that's an exponent to an exponent. You multiply two terms, two, which is what? Which is four. So you're going to have one minus A to the exponent of four. That's the concept. But as we can see, guys, we can, uh, uh, from this part, one minus a to the exponent of 4, 1 minus a to the exponent of 4. We are back to the special identities again to these uh, algebraic identities. Why? Remember, if you are given a number and a number multiplying each other, 2 times 2, it simply means 2 squared. 3 times 3, 3 squared. So a bracket times a bracket means that bracket is being raised to the exponent of 2. That's the condition. It is being raised to the exponent of 2. So we are back to the squaring of a binomial. Yes, you can expand the brackets, guys, using your file method. I'm not saying it's wrong. But here we, we want to use the special product. That's the, the subtopic. So as for you, you can expand in the normal way and prove to see if we're going to have the same answers there. All right? So applying this identity, guys, we said we are going to need a and B. So this is your A and this is your B, first and last. So from this identity, it is stating that we are going to have what? A squared, which is the first one squared. That is our A. Remember, our A is one. This is our B. So A squared, that's one squared, which is what? Which is one. 
minus 2ab minus 2 that's minus 2 times a remember our a is 1 our b what is our b a to the exponent of 4 you multiply so minus 2 times 1 that's minus 2 a to the exponent of 4 then plus b squared which is the last term squared what is our b here a to the exponent of 4 but they are saying b squared so is that last term as it is raised to the exponent of 2? A to the exponent of 4 to the exponent of 2. So you can simply multiply exponent to exponent 4 times 2. That's 8. So that's plus A to the exponent of uh, 8. All right. So I want you to try as many questions as you can, guys. Just try to figure out how questions can be attempted using the special products and prove by expanding in the normal way that you are used to. 